Welcome back. Taking a look at that Great Falls Clinic ICAM earlier this evening, we did see a couple of clouds in there for some partly sunny skies. You can expect that your lows tonight are going to be around 56 degrees, and your highs today were around 82 degrees, which is just slightly below average for this time of year, staying on the warm side. Now, over in Helena and the Opportunity Bank of Montana Weather Cam, you could really see those hazy conditions. Staying in there, we are going to see those hazy conditions throughout the night, maybe even tomorrow through the afternoon. But your highs today in Helena were around 86 degrees, still slightly below average for this time of year, and your lows tonight are going to be around 56 degrees. This is a look at your current air quality for Helena and now Hamilton. You're going to see those unhealthy for sensitive group conditions, though for the rest of the state we are seeing those moderate conditions and that's because of the fires that are taking place over in the northwestern portion of the United States and even over in northern California. So you can thank them for these nice hazy conditions that will continue to be widespread throughout the night and continue through tomorrow morning and maybe even through the afternoon. Warm to hot temperatures are going to continue. We're going to see them warming up tomorrow on Monday back into the 90s for a lot of areas. Breezier conditions will also be a factor for Monday and we won't see some shower and thunderstorm activity until around Tuesday and that's because of your upper level patterns. We saw a short wave today which brought those slightly cooler temperatures and also brought some of those chances for some of that precipitation. We saw some scattered showers and some isolated thunderstorms through mostly that Helena to Havre line today but a trough will be on the way for Monday but temperatures are going to stay warm but as we hit Tuesday this trough will be full-blown into the area which will not only bring in those chances of showers and thunderstorms but will also bring in those cooler temperatures around 5 to 10 degrees cooler than what we saw on Monday. So taking a look at your future track, what you're going to notice is some drier conditions, especially as that um, precipitation that we saw today pushes east over out of the area. We're also going to see some clearer conditions for north central Montana um, as we head into the morning, but these clouds are going to be on the way for some mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. And then as we head into Tuesday, that's when that precipitation is going to hit the area. There's going to be a bit more moisture in the atmosphere, so we'll see some more wetter conditions with this system as it pushes east through the area. And there's going to be some chances of isolated thunderstorms, but because of the dry conditions we're also going to see some elevated fire concerns they shouldn't be to a critical level but with the winds that we're going to see tomorrow and those dry conditions you can expect that they're still going to be there um, you can see that these winds are going to die down tonight however around 5 to 10 miles per hour for most of the region popping up around 20 to 30 mile per hour um, tomorrow around the afternoon time dying down once again before popping up even more for the Rocky Mountain front around 40 to 30 miles per hour for Tuesday, especially as those storms hit the area, also becoming a bit more, more widespread as we head into Tuesday evening. But this is a look at your lows tonight, down into the 50s and even the upper 40s. Hazy for a lot of places, nice and cool. You can also expect to see some mostly cloudy skies down in that central Montana Helena area. And this is a look at your highs for tomorrow, back up into the 80s and even the 90s for some places, mostly sunny, nice and warm. Expect that haze to continue too.